Welcome to another episode on the Lara Po. I hope you learned something from today's episode. So let's get right into it. Welcome to episode 77 on the Lara Po. In this episode, we're going to deal with the recent amendments to the criminal law ordinance. But before I do my usual disclaimer, this is not legal advice, should not be construed as such for legal advice. Please contact an attorney of your choice. Welcome back. The Criminal Law Amendment Ordinance 2023 was assented to by the Governor on the 14th of November 2023. It was published in the Gazette on the 17th of November. 2023. The amendment inserted a new section 8A immediately after section 8 of the principal ordinance which now deals with mandatory minimum sentence and exceptional circumstances. Section 8A, subsection 1, applies to any person who falls to a sentence regardless of whether or not the offense for which the person is being sentenced was committed before or after the commencement of this amendment. Subsection 2, notwithstanding any written law, the court may sentence a person to a shorter period than the mandatory minimum sentence prescribed where a that person is under the age of 18 years of age or B in opinion of the court exceptional circumstances exist in relation to the person or the offense and this is echoing the same language that is used in section 30 of the firearms ordinance in relation to exceptional circumstances. Let me say at this stage that I believe that this amendment is geared towards persons who would come before the court in the future to be sentenced for firearm related offenses because I am not aware with the exception of Section 12 of the Theft Ordinance, where aggravated burglary carries a minimum mandatory sentence of five years and a maximum of life imprisonment. I'm not aware of any other law where exceptional circumstances is a factor when it comes to sentencing. And in any event, aggravated burglary, there is no provision for exceptional circumstances. So I am convinced that this amendment is specifically geared towards persons to be sentenced for firearm related offenses. So back to the amendments. Section 8A, subsection 3, sets out that the court in considering for the purpose of section 2, whether a sentence of less than the mandatory minimum term is just in all the circumstances, the court may have regard in particular to any previous convictions of the person who falls to the sentence 
and whether the public interest would be solved by the imposition of a lesser sentence. Now, after section 10, a new section 11 is inserted into the principal ordinance and this deals with regulations for exceptional circumstances. And section 11 simply states that the governor may make regulations in relation to exceptional circumstances referred to in section 8a. So if there is a need for further guidance or, or to set up clearly what is and what is not exceptional circumstances, the governor is empowered by the ordinance to make regulations in this regard. Now, this amendment, or these amendments to the criminal law ordinance could be regarded as retrospective legislation. Retrospective legislation is legislation that operates and matters taking place before enactment and this amendment clearly makes reference to matters before the amendments were enacted. Generally speaking, retroactive legislation is frowned on by the court and legal commentators at large. But where the law seeks to bring a meaningful benefit to society, then there may not be a serious objection to that law. It is left to be seen if these amendments are really intended to benefit in any meaningful way those that fall to be sentenced in the future. This has been a very short episode. I thank you for watching. If you learn anything or even if you have a disagreement, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Otherwise, please like, share. I thank you for watching. But most of all, most of all, I thank you for taking the time out from your busy schedule to watch this episode. And I will see you very shortly in episode 78. Bye. Thank you for watching another video on the Laura Poe. Please like, share, comment, and most of all, thank you for taking the time out to watch this video. See you in another episode.